So Jurassic World Dominion will bring in and bring back many ideas and concepts. This can be crossover characters, returning characters, new dinosaurs, returning dinosaurs, and so on. I think as of right now from what we know, there are five specific sequences a lot of fans are looking forward to. The first one is the newfound rivalry between the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Jigonotosaurus. We know in the very opening sequence for this film, these two massive carnivores are set to clash. The Jigonotosaurus comes out on top, and the mosquito then takes the blood from the dead Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is then used to make Rexy, and she has become the main T-Rex in the Jurassic Park franchise. Now if that's the only time these two dinosaurs clash, then there is still a lot of excitement. However, I do think there are good odds that these two dinosaurs will rematch. They will clash once again towards the very end, and that probably will be the main dinosaur battle in this film. The next scene to look forward to is the return of Dotson and Biosyn. We have not really seen them in a film since Jurassic Park, and they will be having a massive role in this film. So the big question here is what their role is, what dinosaurs they are introducing, and what is their overall intention. Then the next scene is something that is kind of connected to Biosyn, and this is the introduction of the Atrociraptor pack. We have talked a lot about them and the fact that they have names. However, we don't know exactly why they're in this movie. Will they turn against Biosyn, or will they be the most advanced and powerful raptor pack in the entire Jurassic Park franchise? Can they communicate, are they intelligent, and are they superior to the Jurassic World raptor squad? There are just so many questions around this pack. Then the next sequence, in my opinion, is the return of a Delos Apisaurus. A lot of the main dinosaurs we saw back in Jurassic Park have shown up once again. They have all become a staple of the Jurassic Park franchise, and they have appeared in multiple films. However, when it comes to a Dilophosaurus, the same thing can't be said. In the flesh, this dinosaur has only appeared one time, and throughout the entire franchise, this dinosaur has had many times to come back, so it does seem like they are saving it for one massive scene. Then the final one is the first meeting between the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World characters. We have not formally seen Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sattler, and Dr. Alan Grant together since Jurassic Park. So having them come back together is one thing, but having them meet the Jurassic World characters as well, it will make for a very compelling scene. For all of you though, what do you think about this? From what we know about Jurassic World Dominion so far, what scene looks the best? Write all of your answers down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.